Hey guys, what's happening? So, uh, I've been playing Cyberpunk 2077 and I've actually been really enjoying it. I've been, it's the first video game I think I've played in about four years that I've actually like really got into and I've only been playing it for two days. But, uh, look, I want to, I want to talk about Cyberpunk. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry. I, look, I want, I want to do what I'm interested in at this very moment in time. Okay, guys, it's my channel. I'm allowed to do it. So, and I think this leans into other stuff that we've touched on before. And also, I love, uh, I love Burger Punk. So I think, like, you know, this may as well be Burger Punk, if I be honest with you. But anyway, anyway, do you want to take us away? Go for it. Read us the first post. What would <clears throat> Cyberpunk be like? So what would Cyberpunk be like if it was based on modern anxieties of the technological future instead of the 1980s? What would the dystopia of Elon Musk's Mars be like? Well, there's a lot of similarities already. Like, you know, if we're going to go into it, let's go. Well, they talk about Elon Musk. So we've got to bring up Neuralink. You mm -hmm. know, that's <laughs> that's the first, like, genuinely spin cyber of cyberware, I think. Yeah. We're that I think this came about. Although I'm not going to bother. Like, well, actually, your mobile phone is is in cyberware. It's just on the outside. It's like, okay, yeah, kind of. You are collecting that within reason, but it's just not the same. It's just not the same. Now, you, know? you haven't watched Cowboy Bebop, have you? No, no. Okay, so. Oh wait, no, actually, I have watched Cowboy. No, I have, but it was a very long Spike time. Spike Speed Gold like Faye Valentine. Um, to yeah. me, that seems like more of a modern cyberpunk dystopia where you're still going out amongst the stars, but a lot of things are still really low tech. Where there are low, like I, I, I would call like like a like a, a lot of the cyborgs are low tech cyborgs, or a lot of the uh, like it, I, I always found, to my personal opinion, that Cowboy Bebop was kind of a kind of a secondary take on the cyberpunk genre. Um, I know there are those who would disagree with me, but both use, like, that, like, even though you have starships and spaceships and all that shit, you still have guns that use black powder, you know? There are androids, but they have issues and problems, you gotta go work with them. I, the, like, the modern dystopia, um, you know, the modern cyberpunk to me, you know, I, I, I think the fucking meme kind of hits up quite a bit, actually, you know, you, like, you're, you're, you're being put in pods and, you're, you know, beef is too expensive and this whole new, this whole new Mars colony with, like, our Lord Emperor Elon Musk or some shit, you know. Um, <clears throat> it would be like, cause like I believe in the Cyberpunk universe, they're just now starting on space. There's, 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 there's like a moon colony, and that kind of shit, and like they well, just. Would you argue then is Cowboy Bebop just like Cyberpunk, but give it an extra like two hundred years? It's more like Cyberpunk with jazz. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, the kid could, it could make a comeback. It could, you know. Uh, I, I, this is one thing that kind of gets me whenever you think about it. So, like, mm -hmm. you know, whenever I was like 18, 19, 20, it was like all about the 80s, the 80s was coming back. And now the Zimmers, it's all about the 90s now. Bro, I, I am seeing mom jeans come back and just throw me for a fucking loop, <laughs> man, man. It's the mid part that gets me. It's the mid part. One of my friends, um, it, the, the year was 2011, and he came out one day with a metal part, and we all laughed at him. Said he had a McDonald's haircut because it looked like the golden arches on his head. Oh. <laughs> 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 he, he, took, he got really upset with us, but like, it not just, like, funny, honestly, man. It, you're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, cost, no, it's not a good look, man. You need to, you need to stop that right now. But now, now, like you know, the middle, the the mid part, it's like you know, the Zimmer thing, isn't it? Like it seems to be it's that or like the parm, you know, that seems to be. How, how in the fuck did perms come back, man? I am still <laughs> flabbergasted that, like, I saw, I saw a kid walk out of a fucking, must have been, like, maybe, like, fucking 18 years old, fresh out, fresh out of high school, had a yeah. fucking perm. I was like, are you <laughs> out of your fucking mind? Yeah, I, like, it's one of those ones. I think it's, it's something that comes to everyone. It's um, a good example, I think, is like all the, the kids these days with their with their fashion, with their with their trousers and, and their music those that's just too days. loud. <laughs> you know, and, and, and we're, we're always going to be living through that. It's always going to be the case of, oh, the kids, what are they up to? Like, I think the ultimate example of that was like dubstep. You know what I mean? And they're like, yeah, OK, dubstep is absolutely appalling. Curse of Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I, 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 I like well. Okay, what music genre was like really big for a couple of years? It just died. What, what, what ones? What ones worse than dubstep? Skrillex. Like, well, that is dubstep, isn't it? Yeah, but like, but like Skrillex was hot, and then he just fucking like died overnight. 
Um, to be fair, I did go to, I did go to a Skull X concert, and it was actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really enjoyed myself. Right now, the new hotness is like taking AI and making like Elvis sing modern songs, and they sound. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, they sound better under Elvis's voice and tune, or like Johnny Cash singing big... Barbie Girl, and it, it, oh, it, yeah, it sounds yeah. dumb. But they, they had Elvis singing like multiple rap songs, not just Big Butts, but other rap songs, and they sounded so much better. Somebody else. I was like, I, I hmm. think, uh, I think one of the big ones that we're definitely going to see is again, like on the topic of AI and the like. Oh yeah, um, yeah AI. That, so they, 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 they didn't really do a lot of AI stuff in Cyberpunk, did they? It was limited. And there was some, there was some, but not, not much. It, it, it was still kind of, again, I think it still got the appeal of AI is like an omnipresent machine that can kind of do everything whereas our ai are kind of just like databases that you can well, like for now better interaction. My, see, see ai is moving up and it's moving up very very fast in my opinion yeah and well, it's gotten I, to the point where we can't trust anything. And I think yeah, this is something I really like, want. There's like is fake news broadcast. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta like, <laughs> well, what do their fingers look like? Yeah, like, watch the fingers and toes. Like, mm, they, 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 look, yeah. they look like bad fingers to me, bro. Like, or, or you know what? Do you want to go really spicy? Hmm. I don't want to talk about it too much, but the current thing, and I think everyone knows what the current thing is on uh, the 17th of October uh 2023 so you you guys know what the current thing is and the current thing there's a lot of information online but so uh, let's 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 not try and get ourselves there's a lot of misinformation um i would argue it's to the oh. point of no one actually knows what's going on you mean the hot unless situation. you're actually there yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't really want to go i don't want to go into it i don't want to talk about it me and megan spoke about it on gum loot and honestly it's just such a mess and like honestly i've seen so many people who actually like lose their mind on twitter it's kind of funny but i just don't want to get into These it these blast but that, marks I think are a... too accurate for saying people <laughs> I don't like. I don't want to get too into that. <laughs> but that is a perfect example of what our modern cyberpunk would be. The idea of again, it's very like Orwellian. But what can you trust? Can I you, actually, are we at the point where we can actually trust our own eyes? Can <clears throat> we trust our own? Can well, we trust anything? You, you bring up a, a, a kind of a side topic that kind of sparked my brain. But it's like imagine the true dichotomy of those who wish to stay traditional and those who are cyberpunk. Like imagine go imagine being a full on fucking chromed up cyber boy, right? You have your, your implants and all that, and you walk into a fucking Afghanistan village where like they're just not getting running water. <laughs> like it, it, it to me, it, it seems like that, that could happen. Where like you have your little AI assistant like telling you, oh yeah, this was a you know an old battleground from the from the ancient war of 2019 or some shit and you're walking up yeah. and it's like the same fucking afghanistan village like, like nothing's fucking changed like i think it might be worse i think actually, it, it might actually be worse than cyberpunk itself the, like the current cyberpunk the future oh, modern yeah, that, punk like, will be like, it'll be like having aliens and cavemen on the fucking same planet like you have guys running calculations and all this kinds of shit and they're gonna have like fucking the neural links running at high speed recording through their eyeball and stuff and then you're gonna have oh, guys sorry. who are like still using camels or, or donkeys and shit to like move their fucking you know their opium poppy seeds around like it's, it's gonna be fucking weird in my like that's just my take yeah. on it like i think that you know if say elon musk does get on mars there will be pod people for sure because it's, it's, oh it's there's already mars. pod people there's already that's the work you know the thing is right i think like you know when you look back at like the 80s 90s all that sort of stuff even like the early 2000s people still had a really good sense of we are making progress we are moving forward and um, people's lives are going to get better and better and better because that's what we've seen for so long yeah well I, I, it's I, the trend. I, we're just it's not doing that anymore it was a trend and it was going for like pretty much pretty solid trend right after world war ii yeah up until like it, i think it, it had been on the downtrend what what would you say but i would say the one that like really shocked people that like made people realize okay we're definitely not in the uptick anymore was the days and eight crash that would be the one that like even oh, anyone the, can tell you it's like you mean yeah, the dot com crash not. right no 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 the the uh, Heisen Market one. Oh, that was. Was in, oh. Was eight or nine. I the, the bubble now. when the bubble popped. Yeah, got you. That, I think that's. I think that's the biggest one. Is people don't have a positive outlook on the future 
anymore. Um, it's becoming well. I, and I, I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I would say that Elon Musk has re- rekindled that spark again. And it is not, 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 not trying to like ride Elon's dick so he buys me a fucking new house. I, I think it's just the fact that <laughs> it <laughs> I think it's just one of those things where he's kind of he's kind of rekindled that that adventurous spirit. Like, hey, we got we have rockets we can reuse, you know. Mm. And uh, it's one of those things where I just think that it took one guy to just kind of kind of blow on the spark again and Elon Musk has done that he's kind of revitalized this this space race you know the ner- this guy's actually putting money into and again I'm not trying to ride his fucking cock but he's he's kind of revitalized that spirit of hey what well, we have neural links we just upload shit we can record video through to our own eyeballs you know and people are like yeah cuz i think people kind of fell into a slump for a bit you know we were in a 20 year mm. war shit was sucking you know bitcoin was ravaging the, the, the whole entire planet and then you know and then also as well like things are being too sterilized you know there was you know you say the wrong joke and boom you're verboten and you know facebook oh, wow here that's mm-hmm. a that's a perfect example yeah with well not like let's go for, let's go for a bit of that good let's be serious cancel culture is it not the rebirth of the burning the witch orwellian almost yeah <laughs> you, oh, or well, you, oh, you are say that. othered, and thus you must be destroyed, <laughs> other man. Like what the fuck? Yeah, like, like yeah. Like I, I watched a video on YouTube, right, of them showing modern kids like early two thousands comedy, and they could not hack it. Like I know, oh, it's it's good at man. I don't even want. You know what? I think that's one thing that they have to do, though. The the the. the um, the disruption of comedy. I think one of the biggest weaknesses someone could have, like one of the things that I think, like something that I would particularly look out for in a lot of people, whether or not like they're dead on or not, is their ability to be able to laugh at themselves. Can, and if people aren't able to laugh at themselves, then like I think there's something not quite like there. Can you, you know accept I mean? like like can you accept self judgment? Can you find yeah. your own faults and then find the humor in them? And a lot of people have lost their humanity. Because a fun fact is, you know, humor amongst the old Cherokee tribes, the old Choctaw tribes, was finding self-humor. Like the 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 ancient Native Americans, a lot of their humor was derived from self-derision, where you have warriors who make fun of themselves to make make a funny joke, but also keep themselves humble. And yeah. people who can't do that simply can't be fucking trusted. Because no, like, I, don't, I don't think they could be. Like I have broken up friendships because they cannot laugh at themselves or laugh at their own mistakes, or you know anything like that they're just too up their own ass that they just can't and like the the, the modern era you know fucking censorship and all that like you if you can't laugh at yourself then you're not gonna laugh at anyone and you're gonna find you're, you're, you're gonna be like you're gonna grasp your pearls at fucking everything and there's just that's not a fun person to be around whatsoever or what if what if we take that to the next level um let's say oh you know it's not even self-deprecating that's actually now just hate speech and that is illegal how you know yeah you that know? that um, shit that, that shit fucking just burns me up dude <laughs> yeah no it really does I, so i talked about this one this was an interesting one um that i like to think about a lot and it's lead to northern ireland and there was a tv show it's still it comes on from time to time they do specials it was called give my head piece and they can't show a lot of the older episodes now because like it would just be considered like a j- like it was funny like you know but you can't like say a lot of the stuff that they were saying on the show but like you know they had to go at everyone and it was a good show because again they never they were able to laugh at both sides you know what yes. i mean and both sides thought it was really funny and it was it was a good show it hasn't aged very well it had a laugh track okay it was like it was a it was a show of its time but it's interesting not to say the least i think the concept of rack's pistol laugh at joke <laughs> <laughs> yeah does that, well that's like, let's be serious when was the last time you actually came across something that was genuinely like funny on tv um that would be like, like, on tv yeah and it's no, getting no, no, harder no. on youtube so, so I'm, I'm getting to it but like there, there's a there's a there's a show where it's in England. They, they, they pick out these celebrities and they gotta do these stupid fucking ta- Taskmaster. Like, the last funny show I watched was fucking Taskmaster. Let's see, what was that? T A S K Master. Uh, what one was this one again? Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, I just, just, just well. unrestrained comedy, you know, and you, it's, it's very yeah. hard to find. You can't find unrestrained comedy. And for all we know, the future cyberpunk may be bereft of comedy. You'll have underground, dark, like deep underground comedy clubs where you can go 
and hear something funny, which sounds well, fucking <laughs> awful to me. <laughs> fucking awful to me. Well, they, well they, you could argue that's already the case if you look at somewhere like North Korea, for instance. One of the biggest forms of comp to go band is movies. So it is because, of course, like, you know, they don't really have many movies and they've only got like one TV show or one TV channel. And of course, it's all state, <laughs> state land news 24 7. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So uh, that is one of the biggest things that gets imported into North Korea is like TV, movies, and all that sort of stuff. Just generic entertainment. Uh, 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 you, know? uh, 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 you just reminded me, reminded me, physical media. Oh, yeah, that'll be a big one. The hard the, to come by. Yeah, the, the the true value of having a physical thing that they can't that that the big corpo can't take from you. An actual VHS, an actual proof of what what you have. Like I was quite shocked even right now that you know people people are buying all these movies on their fucking Disney Plus account and then suddenly they're not there anymore. Like you bought them, but they're gone now, and they're like, "Where? Where's my movie at?" Oh, we, oh, don't worry, it was problematic, so we removed it. You did what? And so you, <laughs> so you saw a huge surge in Blu-ray sales. Uh, what I'm mm. wondering is in the far-flung future. I think with the ease of AI or removal of digital media, the still the, the the hardcore want and desire for a physical media source like Blu-ray or DVDs. I don't know. What, I mean, it'll probably stay. Well, actually, I guess it'd be more of like a, they'll have movies on movies on a fucking flash drive or a flash drive derivative. Like, hey, here's your movie. It's a little stick you plug into your brain or some shit. But still, I like people. People, people will say no, they won't do that. Yeah, yeah. But I still think there'll be a, be be a drive to have like a physical piece of media, like a CD or a flash drive or a stick or some kind. I, I, I don't think that's too far off because we're already seeing that happen. So I think that's a guarantee. If I'd be honest with you, mm. especially with streaming services and whatnot oh, for sure like, yeah. you know, again like you know you, you eat the bugs you will have nothing and you will be happy you know and the thing is people are happy with streaming services that's the problem well i think they're happy as long as nothing ha- like because you saw a big rumble or just a, a big drop in sales from disney plus for a long time <laughs> it's more of a I honestly, I, honestly I, I think the corporations are actually fucking hindering themselves by having them having their having their value tied to viewers. Because you watch like old like you watch the big hub lub over like fucking Willow and shit, and viewers said I'm not gonna watch that, and they're fucking you know profits plummeted and the scramble to trying to <laughs> yeah. pe- appease the masses, give them bread and circuses. You know, it, it's 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 a weird thing where it used to be like you would do it by ticket sales. You go out to the movie theater and you go, we made this much, and you judge how popular you were. Now they can judge popularity on the fly. Like there are only five dudes mm-hmm. watching this shit what the fuck happened <laughs> it's yeah and i get i guess well, are they gonna are, are they gonna learn from this though like you know let's let's go for a, another modern one keep it with disney let's go with like she hulk now i never watched she hulk <laughs> i saw that there was a i don't i don't know anything about it if i'll be honest with you i did i saw there was a ton of people were tons of people were making videos banging on about it I just didn't watch it because I just don't. I just don't care about She Hulk, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I could not care less about She Hulk, so I'm just not gonna go ahead and watch it. Um, but that's yeah. That would be an ultimate example, I would say. Of um, when are they going to realize, or why? Why is it again? Let's. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not staying on topic per se, but I'm kind of moving in and out. You'll see. You guys will see. I'm weaving between. Okay. Um. The writer strike guilt, all that sort of stuff. Why can they not just write good movies anymore? You know why? Why? Why do we have stuff like She-Hulk? How does that even exist? Well, we all know how and why. I mean, this dude. They're, they're, but why does it have to be? They're it's following, watered they're down following so much. the system. I mean, they gotta. It, it feels like it's on purpose, though. It's like don't get me wrong. Of course, it's on don't purpose. Come on, it, it, it's always on purpose. They're following the mm. script. They're pushing out the political points. They want to yeah. see She-Hulk twerk on camera because it empowers <laughs> women or some shit. Like the. the <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you like I'm telling you like now see when it comes to like even 40k why husband I like, and I know, and I know people are gonna cringe at me but I think the the format would fit perfectly and it's back on topic guys why isn't there a 40k anime same way with like um edge gunner you know what I mean in the same vein as that if they had a, and, it, and it would tell no, no, it would see, sell very well if they had a single a, moat of intelligence in their brain they would do two things they would make a yeah. gritty 40k anime much like edge runners and they'd pay that goddamn Astartes guy <laughs> a massive budget yeah. to make a full on 3d movie like the, the, yeah. new, the new salamander thing that they brought out with 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 a uh, with a uh, the the con salamander guy fucking crushing <laughs> it best content 
on fucking yeah. that best content I ever I ever stole from Warhammer Plus. Um, <laughs> and it's great. I mean, it's it's a great show, and the the, the amateur crushes it. And they don't. Un- I swear to God, they don't understand that the whole point, the whole how you pull people in is that kind of content. If you want to branch out to your to people who have money you want to spend you don't you make a fuck goddamn kids book out of 40k you make animes you make movies ah. you make porn for god's sakes <laughs> i mean <laughs> yeah yeah like yeah. again again that leans so much in for like a modern i think if we were to go a modern cyberpunk everything would just be fucking boring it would be just slop. It would just be like everything would be a gray paste because that's what it feels like, or that feels like what they've been pumping out the past. Like, what five, was the last major movie that like fucking just like you're like, wow, I'm so glad I watched this movie. Um, for me, the last one I really, really loved. Okay, I've got two play All Quiet in the Western Front, and the other one would be Uncut Jam. Both of uh, these I thought were outstanding. Uncut Jam. Both was actually right. Oh, have you not seen it? You need it. It's an Adam Sandler movie. Okay, so I, I saw that. I saw that one. Yeah, he, yeah. he, he was. He was I'm, yeah. I want to come. Oh, this is a great movie right here. Because I like seeing the, the, these guys take on an actual proper role. Yeah, you know? it was so good. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of like Robin Williams whenever he went for like serious movies. I was like, what the? He can God, actually pull when, it off. When Robin Williams Jeez, did right? actual serious movies, I, I, he always sucked me in every fucking time. Like, what was the one where? Yeah. What was the one where he was like doing like he was like the uh, that photo. Photo dude who was developing fit like photos. Oh yes, uh, 31, 31 set. Well, what was it called? I can't he, remember. He was a pedo or something. Um, I, I, were, oh, I think yeah. it was a voyeur no, was a or some one. shit. It was, yeah, it might have been. And then he, he, oh, that was a great movie. I love that one. It was called like Thirty Second. Um, what's One Hour Photo? That was One Hour a, Photo. Was thank you. I love. I, like, I, I, I loved how creepy that one was. I was like, yes, I like the way this, it was. Like, <laughs> it, 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 you're all like, like, oh, I feel so dirty watching it, but it, it, like, it was so much <laughs> fun. I was like, man, this is a great fucking movie. Like, I'm I try, know. Like, I, I see. I watch movies every month. I go and watch them just so I can know what's so I can be up to date with what's currently in the zeitgeist. Let's see here, 2023 movies. Like, just so far, I can't. There was one. Like, like I liked. Uh, I like Nope. Nope is a good movie. And I don't, don't think I know that one. That's one of the giant like alien fucking stingray that sucks people up and <laughs> kills them. But uh I'm trying to think of another movie that made me go, wow, what a great movie. Like me and the wife go, yep, that was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it wasn't good, but yeah. it was a movie, you know. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of one made in 2023 that was like, oh my gosh, what a great movie! Because I can't think of any. I'm trying to like uh, scroll through. Actually, you know like, what? I'm, I'm gonna, one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another great movie that came out relatively recently. And again, it's another World War One movie. Uh, mm. 1917 was really good. Oh, I really course, enjoyed yes, 1917. Yes. That was a great one. But I'm trying to find. Um, look, look, I, I, I'm trying to pick non like niche genre because that's, that's, that's a war movie. I think the only other movie yeah. I think of that was good was fucking Renfield because he had fucking a Nicholas Cage as Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah I, yeah I there was one i watched of necklace cage and he was like it was like five nights at freddy's oh he didn't talk yeah the movie. Th- th- that's uh he was like a janitor trying to clean it up yeah and then i i the thing he made us watch another one with him where he's playing himself and had a the unbearable weight of talent that was a good one yeah yeah i wasn't fussed on it but like it was all right hey yo guys cost 11 crisis and all that you don't want to pay for models well, we got some paper models. Which are like a fraction of the price. Like fraction of the price. And who actually wants to carry about a bunch of goblins? Nobody. <laughs> I mean, like, come on. Like, everyone's going to need a bunch of goblins. But, but how, do you, how do you carry that? How do you transport exactly. that? And if any of you guys have transported models any length of time... You put it in a Pokemon binder <laughs> and you take it with you. <laughs> If you're interested in it, check this video out. It'll explain everything to you. And if you really want to, the link to the Kickstarter is down below and it'll explain it. And if you like it, back it. Also, we do have uh, some free ones. So you can go ahead, print them out yourself if you like them, you know. Everybody likes free shit, so just go and try it. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. Also, um, the winner of the deal we giveaway is this guy. Yay, woo! <laughs> Look, anyway, uh, in for a chance to win, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, automatically entered in. 
And to claim the prize, you just send an email to nickbeardycontact at gmail.com. Let's go back to the video. Anyway, look, let's move back to Cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. I think we made a point far off. I, I think modern Cyberpunk, when it comes to like the entertainment, will be mind numbingly boring. I think, honestly, I get, I understand now, like we've all laughed at boomers and slot machines for years. It's been a meme for a very long time. Oh, but right, what's right. the difference no, between that? We got you. What's the difference? What's the difference between like boomers and slot machines and children and V Bucks or even like adults? Well, they're, like, they're, being, they're, being, they're, they're, they're being slowly trained to consume the media. Just yeah. be, be quiet. Pull, pull a little lever arm and consume. Just keep consuming, my yeah. little bug. Keep consuming. And it seems like we're. Like those who resist the uh, the mainstream are, are labeled as radicals, you know. Like like yeah. uh, <clears throat> anyone who 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 steps out of line is suddenly smeared by the media, or there's like thirteen dozen sexual assault <laughs> charges coming out of nowhere. Yeah, like it's like yeah, mm, yeah. interesting, you know. And it, it's it's always something. And like imagine like how like right now, like right like say right now in current time, trying to do anything sneaky is actually quite hard to do. Like you're everywhere if you're even remotely if you're a zealous celebrity like me. You you know, you, it's, it's, you, you, you can't really hide anywhere. But imagine how hard it'd be to do like nefarious shit when like you're constantly being recorded by your own fucking eyeballs or your phones on or some shit, or like your your little data slave that's on your shoulder who's in the ship of small anime girls like 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 narking on to a fucking corporation. Like, well, how like that's the biggest one again. Like, you know, I suppose that that'll be a thing. Like, you know, privacy to go in where like net, net runners and well, that that is a thing. I think this is one of the biggest ones as well. Like, you know, I, I'm for ever seeing people go on to me it's like james why why are you not on rumble it's like i am on rumble i just don't talk about it uh mm -hmm. but people are like no you should totally be on rumble it's like i am on rumble you just haven't you just haven't looked my that's, brother uh, Christ, i am there that, right now <laughs> and that's that's what that's what annoys me the most about it whenever people say whenever i whenever you complain about youtube because essentially it is a monopoly let's not try and get ourselves mm -hmm. anytime you complain about it people are like oh why you're not on rumble it's like i am you just haven't looked so therefore it's pointless it, it, it does that make any weird sense it just feels so like it just doesn't work and the thing is only people that care about uh monopolies or alt tech or people that it's already too late does that make sense people are happy enough like look at steam steam would be a perfect example of that mm -hmm. where everyone hated steam when it first came out like no one liked steam it's like what's the what's the point in this why do i need this launcher? why would i I've want this you guys are stupid yeah that yeah, yeah. like I, and and then suddenly like after a few years like oh you know what steam's actually really good and then and then suddenly every every developer's like oh no we're gonna need our own launch now we yeah like, now we and, need I, and now steam. everyone's yeah. like i'm not i'm not using epic i'm using c do you know yeah <laughs> and then like <laughs> now we've came to the point where we've no, we love Steam now. I could never live without it. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's dead on. But do you see where the problems we've got is? We've got to the point where it's like, no, I love the monopolies. And again, look at it like with YouTube. There's no, no other company can even come close to compete with YouTube. Big reasons. It's owned by YouTube. Or <laughs> YouTube's owned by YouTube. No, it's owned by Google. Mm -hmm. They've wasted. They've, they've. It's been unprofitable for a very long period of time. Hosting videos is very, very expensive. Um, therefore, you know that's where they get all the ads from. A lot. Look, they've recently introduced that ad blocker completely. Can't use ad blockers. I don't know if they work on other web browsers, but I'm sure there's been been a good few people that have clicked on this video. Who says, oh, you can't can't watch this video unless you're the movie ad blocker. You know. Oh, uh, um, I hate with like, yeah, you we gotta lock this. You like, no, I, I don't want to. I'm gonna, just leave me alone. <laughs> no, no one will see your shit. <laughs> no, you, well, I, to be fair, I don't use an ad blocker. I used to, but I stopped using it because I feel bad because it's how I made most of my money for a very long time was with, mm -hmm. ad, uh, with ad revenue. So it's like, yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. I'll I'll, I'll remove me ad blocker. Well, but let's well, be serious. Well, the, the thing is, like, the thing is the... you, you don't have those. We don't make any money on YouTube at all. Like, we're trying to, like, me and you are doing our hustles to try and keep our YouTube alive. Like, it, which fucking <laughs> sucks, by the way. <laughs> well, it's one of those ones. Like, I'm, at, at the moment, like, I I'm, I would call myself, like, semi-retired from YouTube within reason. Like, I'm at the point where I just upload the bare minimum to keep it, like, chugging along. But, like, um, pretty much, like, when it comes to, like, other lines of work, my other lines of work would be way more 
profitable does that make sense but i still like want to keep doing um youtube and i still want to do the models and still want to do lighting and stuff like that even though it's not as profitable it's still more fun you know what i mean whereas the other stuff is like strictly business does that make sense sure yeah (laughs) (laughs) well if that that, if that adds up but no let's go back let's go back um again um we were talking about that sort of stuff the amount of control and again with corporations and all that sort of thing we have got to the point where i never thought i would actually like see when we were younger like I, see when i was younger like you know and meet like and all that sort of stuff there was way more people or at least i felt like i came across more people like it's the corporations man yeah. you never you know ne- when, when was the last time you came across someone was like it's a corporation no no you just don't hear it now they're pulling a, a katana saying leave alone the million dollar corporation it's been a full switch. yeah that and that's what gets me as well. I, I don't I don't think in our modern cyberpunk there'll be very few punks. There'll be it's just not going to be a thing. I think a lot of people again go back to the quote. People will be happy that they own nothing, and they will be happy. You know what I mean, bro? I it, honestly, it is it, that. it is so weird seeing metal and punk bands bend the knee to corporations. It's fucking oh. like it's just like excuse oh. me, and it's it's happening. <laughs> I know. It's like, are I, you I, I, out of your fucking mind? Like, it's punk to lick the boot of Google. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I think that's what. Do you think that's one of the reasons why that fellow, who was that company singer from the other, like, last month, the Ginger Fellow, um, Rich Man, and the, the guy that did that song, Rich Man North of Richmond. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, and, yeah. yeah. So, so he's a, hold on, Rich Man. He's a guy so who's, more, who's, who's working out of fucking, like, uh, Oliver Anthony. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he went really big. Now the only thing that got me about him was it kind of, again, maybe it's maybe it's just me being a bit too schizo about it. But I kind of felt like he was a bit astroturfed within reason. I felt like he was very like because he came out of nowhere and he was like everywhere. You know what I mean? Now maybe maybe it could be just well, caught the actually the, of the, the modern zeitgeist. No, no. See the thing. Maybe the thing just, is the thing is that he got fucking panned in fucking. Like other real fucking quick, dude. like 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 no shit. Like I wanna... like his song was called the alt right Nazi rallying cry. Like they they they, they tried yeah. to smear him something fierce. Like he he it, it 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 was it was wild how like this song is is saying it's a direct dichotomy of what's going on right now. You like you know like yeah. fat folks just fucking taking foods and getting fatter. You know and like this is clearly an ableist alt right fucking rally <laughs> cry. It's like uh you're missing the point there, sweetheart. Like like no no he this, this, this guy caught fire because he was speaking you know a little bit of truth in a song and thing is other folks realized that da- people realized the danger in that small truth so what does the yeah. machine do they try to smear and destroy him immediately oliver anthony whether you like him or not he is the example of what happens when you step out of line they try to get yeah. you feels like it's what it does anyway it really does feel like it. And, li- I, and, and, li- I think... and literally it's happened to you 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 are like you know yeah. <laughs> bop, 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 here's the thing and people went hmm that's true and what happens like you are got a pepper strike you dare speak yeah <laughs> you dare speak down to a female content creator Ooh, that's gonna be a strike for me buddy boy yeah like it's one of those ones i think I- i'm convinced see do not to harass the mid-level oh. content Customer. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll give you guys a good example. So, um, there's this like uh, agency that manages a ton of like they they do Asmund Gold, they do Mr. Beast, they do like a ton of normie channels. So they do, and um, like they're all like I would say if you go, if you go through the top like 100 YouTube channels, um, they have like maybe 70 percent of them. Like they're really big. <sighs> How much control do these? And it, again, it, they try to make it look very organic. There's not much organic about YouTube at this. See what? No. See what really black pills me. See the amount. So <laughs> really, I, I, no, really you know black really pills black. my matrix. Let me no, tell you. No, I will. Uh, so I'm really being into Facebook ads at the minute. Mm. And oh my god, Facebook ads are literally the devil. I can tell you this right now. They are absolutely now don't get me wrong i'm making a lot of money off them but oh sweet jesus they are the devil I, I, you, it's bad that's all i gotta say facebook ads are appalling and the other thing is as well like you know what i do is more like normie tier sort of stuff so like i would work so i'm working with my friends 
and um, he's into like Lord of the Rings and stuff, but like Rage. you know, he, 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 yeah, well, he, he likes Lord of the Rings, but like bar that, he's like I would call him complete normie. You know what I mean? In the in the broader picture of things, mm. um, but it's like it just I, like for instance, where we go going through ideas for adverts, and then it would come across one or two, and he's like, no, it must be this is amazing. I look, and I was like, man, this is this this kind of game. I'm not gonna lie, this is <laughs> this I is kind of gay, working. bud. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's I don't a no see from this me, work. dog. <laughs> I don't see this work at all. And then he's like, "No, my honestly, trust me. No, this. I, I, I'm telling you, this will work." It's like, right, okay, like you know more what you're doing than I do. Let's just go for it. Then we go for it, and then it just it, it, it like quadruples money. You know what I mean? Um, like for instance, um, to give you guys an idea, um, on Saturday we five and a half x our money spent on adverts. If that makes sense, so say we spent. Um, let's say let's just put a number in for ex- example. So say we spent like 50, 50 quid on ads, we got back um four hundred plus. You know what I mean? Like four fifty or so close to five hundred. Yeah. Um and again it was something that I was like, mate, this, there's no way this is gonna work. It fucking does. But again, maybe is that just a normie mindset? Am I am I, am I too am I too autistic to understand what normies enjoy? Does that make any sense? I mean <laughs> Am I am I immune to the am I am I immune to the propaganda you have to kind of study it to be honest with you and the real question is feel, like I, going back to the sexual subject what is the what is the f- norming of the future like what's going to be the norming mindset of the future you know look, look, i think again everything's a psyops it's got to the point where there's so many psyops like there's a new psyops every other week people are just gone why like, won't you join the, the army i hear the tiktok dance i'll swallow <laughs> i don't like the other barracks bunnies <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. What do they call them? Is it not desert? Desert? Desert uh, somethings? I can't remember. What? Desert? Uh, desert? Desert? Uh, I can't remember. I can't is it an army term you're trying yeah, to say? Yeah, it's, it's an army term, but like, I'm, I, like, like, I'm not going to get There's like deployment hot. I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's equivalent to that. You know what I mean? It means the same thing, essentially. That's what I'm going for. Um, But yeah, okay, look, let's go back, back to modern cyberpunk. What have we not touched on? Oh, cybernetics. We haven't really touched on that. Honestly, like, you know, see when it comes to cybernetics, how, ma- how many cybernetics do you think would actually be used for, like, the army? Let's, let's, let's be little. Like, Mantis Arms ain't gonna be a thing. Like, they're just not. I mean, you but say that. what would... But... <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's true, actually. But what will definitely be one? What about uh, sleep inhi- inhibitors? Or like, oh, you can you can sleep you can sleep for two hours a day and you won't suffer any ill effects, you know? I mean like, that would be powerful. That would be very powerful. That sort of thing. Oh no, we can you, you sure what are you on about? Now because you don't have to sleep as long, you've got way more free time. So like, you know, why why aren't you in work today? You know, you know, you know, honestly, I five days I think you can move up to seven days because if you think about it, if you work seven days, but now you've you've got way more time because you don't need to sleep as long. So, you know, what's the issue, man? By the way, your term... Tell is, is, me I'm wrong. Well, so real quick, the term you're looking for yeah. is called a desert uh, yeah, desert queen. But uh, Desert queen, that was the term. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, uh, so but I mean, the military's going to go fucking... So, basically, as is right now, we're already trending... We're, we're already... We're already trending towards the Starship Troopers book form of combat where you yeah. start slowly tailoring towards extremely efficient scalpel like units. Where yeah. you won't need it, where like basically a pl- and I believe in the future a platoon of dudes will be five people. To be fair, like, mm. like, like, instead of being like thirty people, it's gonna be five. Like, a, 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 a platoon is five extremely capable, deadly dudes, just jacked with fucking cybernetics, backed up with like a billion, well, not like a billion, but like fifty drones and a few of them like dog thingies, the dog True. robots. Yeah. So basically, and, you know, that sort of stuff. if we're not using full on AI or at least limited AI controlled um, troopers, a platoon might be five humans in ten or fifty. 15 just robots running around you know um because yeah. because that's basically it's basically a a, a a a net positive force multiplier instead of having 30 dudes running around you have five dudes and all the little robotic helpers who just kind of keep them going hey I, I, I need a fucking battery pack now and beep boop here it is you know um yeah. or like i need someone to scout out that building beep boop drone fucking flies inside and gives you fucking thermal readings like the mm. the the future of war is going to be extremely quiet like I don't mean like like quiet, but like where instead of having a huge brigade of people, it might be just a small company of this extremely efficient people who are going to tear your dick apart. Now, 
Yeah. If it gets to where it's going to be a large scale war in this cyberpunk future, it's going to be fucking devastating. And the real, the real question is what weapons are on or off the list? Because for all we know, oh, you know, like, 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 like nukes may be just too blase and boring and seen as caveman ass. Like, oh, you're gonna irradiate all the ground? Psh, pulls out my deradiator and fucking just buzzes that shit. Or like, you know, you 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 launch a, a nuke and a fucking thirteen story tall sea whiz knocks your missile the fucking sky. Like, it, mm. there's gonna be a point where. <laughs> I mean, hell, that's why I like Dune so much, because Dune, like, they don't have those. It's basically sword fights with fucking armor, <laughs> or spear fights, because yeah. weapons, like, I, guns don't mean shit anymore. I, I, I really like, Jin was a really weird example, because it's, like, ancient, but sci-fi at the same time. Yes. It, at least it feels like it. Yes. It's very, it, you know what Jin feels like to me? It feels like, it feels like something from the Bagon's Age. Does that make sense? So. Bagon's Age in space in in, in in say in this future of ours this future cyberpunk say we get so advanced that guns are just too counterable well now you got guys with fucking adamantium bladed like falxes and samurai swords and that's how you fucking go to war you have all this big ass fucking armor i can stop slug rounds or laser beams or fucking gauss rifles but you know to truly kill someone you gotta fucking stab them again it'd be a full mm. returning circle of combat where we went from like spear to gun rifle <laughs> laser plasma and then hey the humble spears back again because you, you got yeah. something that they can defeat this fucking shield you know yes. yeah it, and and to me i i find that extremely fucking like just brain peeking like in the far flung future there is only spear and dagger and sword <laughs> yeah. and mace well what's the what's the um that was not the einstein quote it's like I, um well we're four will be fought with sex and stones that whole thing i mean imagine me like your hardcore like you're 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 actual cyberpunk. You're in a gang and you're fighting. and You have all your armor on. You're fighting another rival. And they, you're fighting a rival gang. Like fuck. They have anti you know anti uh, slug shield. So you pull out a fucking flanged mm. mace and beat someone's brain in because that's what works. Like yeah, you know, oh, uh, you know, like okay, you know what, Garb, you got this. You got you got this image in my head. So I like to imagine right. Okay, so modern day cyberpunk, right? So let's go for some um scandinavian death metal band right <laughs> and he's and he's larping as a viking and of course he's got his thermal axe or whatever and he's just going around like ikea or like i and you know like everyone that works at ikea is like that's like the a, a executive and whatnot i just i i, I just like the idea I, I you know what that's like Maybe that maybe that's an expansion for Burger Punk. Imagine having like a nostalgic uh, we, like, we, no no. So imagine having a, like a, 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 a nostalgic Cyber Knight with his flying mace and Cyber Shield, blasting caramel dancing while beating people's brains in. You know I mean? <laughs> like 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 it like yeah. in, in, in an RGB Cyberpunk Knight blasting caramel dancing while flashing. <laughs> Was he's beating the shit out of gangers, dude? Like, like fucking imagine. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Could, you know what? Oh, could, you know could what? you I see? Hold on, hold on. Could you see mm-hmm. nightly orders coming back in the future? Um, uh, I think we're already seeing that. Like the Cyber kind of, Teutonic like, Knight. You know, <laughs> I think. I think what we're we're kind of have seen something similar to that. Now, like you know, you could argue maybe. I know it's going to sound kind of cringe, but could you argue that maybe? That would be what the Pride Boys are. Are they some form of like fraternity <laughs> with them? I know it sounds really cringe, but you, you get what I'm trying to go for. No, but you get what I'm kind of. Or, yeah, or, gotcha. is it, is, or, is, or is it the same so, like anti for what within like, I, these those sort of like organizations? I think they would turn in. Like, say we're on the same block of thought. I think they would. Would they would turn into combat orders where you have like the like mm. the, the underground wars of. The Antifa militia versus the fucking proud boy Teutonic Order or some shit. And you got like, yeah. I mean, that'd be fucking. Like I said, that bad book plot there. You have, you know, <laughs> there, 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 there's, there's the there, there, there's the over city and under, underground or like the gangers and, and and nightly orders fighting for control of like the under the underworld pretty much. Where one like one one's order and one one's pure chaos. Because we all know who, we, we all know which one that would be. Come on now. But like, imagine yeah. like like I like the idea of like future like future America future england going just full 360 back to fucking like power swords and impact hammers oh, and that kind of shit like like and like please make it come back please we're like i think we'd keep guns to like fight off like 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 say we 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 hey, go hey, 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 we've already got that in the uk <laughs> you look at the whole knife crime thing oh yeah you know right. I mean? damn like, you're right we've, we're, we've, we've already reached that there's no need to there's no need to like imagine anything just like watch some 
CCTV <laughs> footage <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from Lake Robinson and there you go. In very particular <laughs> neighborhoods, which are very, how we say, haram. Anyway, uh, so... Yeah. So, uh, like, what, what also has me curious is that, say we keep... Say we go out star... Uh, st- Go out to the. We go out into the stars, and we go. You know, trying to colonize. We probably keep guns for others. The shoot, the shoot and kill these these other races. But like, no, but, 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 I, but, I, but, I, but then like humans on humans is still like knight and sword because we're, because we're, we're fucking too powerful or some shit. Uh so this is one thing I like to think about an awful lot, and it's in the shower. You're like sitting like out of the water, it's like thinking about it for hours. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, if, yeah, I know. So one of the ones that I always love is I love Cold War fantasy stuff. So I do, mm-hmm. um, like James Bond, Metal Gear Solid, all that sort of stuff. And one of the big ones is, of course, like you know, the threat of nukes and all that jazz. So this is something that we are going to be in trouble with. There's never, we have never in hum- humanity's history, and we've tried it tons of times. There's never been a point where we've created a weapon and these weapons have been too powerful. For instance, a crossbow, perfect example. Oh, you can't use crossbows against other Christians, but you can use them against Muslims, that's fine. You know what I mean? It's a way of curving it. Or like, for instance, maybe there's a bit of technology that we've came across. Oh, the church, no, we're going to stamp that out. We don't want, we don't want to learn. We don't want to go down that branch of technological advancement. You know, we've done it tons and tons of times. What makes Nyx any different, you know? And is it is it possible that we are going to be able to just refrain from using them? Like what what and what one of the biggest ones is what capacity do nooks have in this day and age the only thing that you can really use them for is large targets and what is a large target in this day and age cities you see i don't what agree. else I, what would you use nukes I, for? I think nukes will go the way of black powder rifles they'll be existing but they're so easily counterable that there's no point in using them like as is right mm. as, as, is, as is right now people don't want to talk about it but there are like several dozen anti-nuke systems out there you got fucking oh, la- yeah. like lasers and shit like on the actual yeah. like white house fucking helicopter there are like 14 laser systems that can d- redirect heat seeking missiles and shit like mm. at some point nukes are going to be so like who the fuck cares because you're, you're just like well we like fucking north Korea, we want you nuke now and they launch a nuke and we go okay buzz <laughs> into the ocean now what you know, like, you basically, we're we feeding the fucking coral tons of nuclear missiles at this point. And be like, okay, now what? No. Uh, ground forces? Uh, I guess so. <clears throat> but, about, but, but still, like, <clears throat> I, I, I like the idea of humanity going so far forward that we have to go backwards to be deadly again. And be, imagine being like a an alien race going, okay, we're going to invade this Earth colony. And it's like legions of fucking, like, cyber knights and <laughs> Like cyber Vikings. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is this shit? They got swords and axes. Uh, uh. <laughs> Deus I Volt Alien. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would love it to be the thing, but oh, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll go back to another previous point. So one of the, again, this kind of meshes. I, don't, I know we're not really on Cyberpunk anymore. I'm sorry, guys, but I kind of just want to make this point. So something that Europeans have always been they've always made very very good heavy infantry you know you can go back to like alexander and you can look at like phalanxes or you could look at um romans roman heavy infantry like it was what made the romans so good the legionnaires um look at even more like middle ages what made them like so good oh we'll put them on horses now you got heavy cavalry really really good you know, um, someone's gonna fucking tag us and be like, woo, 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 the Winged Hazar song, or whatever you call it. Uh, um, and actually. Then, like, you know, let, actually, no, but let's keep going. Let's keep going with that. Um, what? So, Europeans, like, have always made great heavy infantry. That's kind of been, like, a bit of a stereotype, but they've always been quite part making contact. You know, the Middle East, amazing skirmishing armies. You can't deny that. And they even brilliant to this day. Like, you know, like, like here, America lost to the Taliban, for God's sake. What is that? A glow force? Um, you know, actually, we just ultimate, packed up our shit. Actually, home. mission complete. <laughs> actually, we, actually uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I know. Uh, again, amazing, amazing skirmishers. And they always sour, have grape, been. Sour grape, sour grape, sour grape. Yeah. <laughs> Like you can't deny that. I think they've always been great skirmishers. Um, but like, let's keep going with that. But what made Europeans so and like, deadly? I think um, in the past like two hundred years, or not two hundred years, sorry, like really five hundred years, was the adoption of firearms and whatnot. It gives it give the heavy infantry a reach on the battlefield. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. And 
I don't know. I, I just I just feel like Leech is just so powerful. You know, the idea of again, like, you know, let's go let's go even further back. Let's go at how Neanderthals hunted large beasts. Me a lot of the time they, they would sometimes, but a lot of the time they end up just charging it and just like spearing it with big heavy spears. You know, what did humans do? They they threw the spears at them, never have to get close. So you're not gonna on the risk of hurting yourself, you're not gonna damage yourself. There's a lot of clues to not coming in contact with like a lino, you know what I mean? Like one of those woolly linos or like um mammoths and whatnot you don't really want to get close to those sort of things so if you get the leech if you get that like you know even just a wee bit of like 10 meters away and you can kill from 10 meters away amazing you couldn't do much better than that i, I do love the idea of maybe going back to that but i just uh, i don't know how i don't know how we ever could i don't know i mean it's very hard to predict, uh, predict the future when yeah at this current point it, it can go fucking anywhere man it, we, we, we 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 like for, for, for we know gundam zeon is going to happen here in the next fucking <laughs> seven years or some shit well here i think we're going to find out an awful lot about modern war in the next couple of years like we've learned an awful lot of about modern war from eastern europe we're going to find out an awful lot about modern war um, with the Middle East. And maybe, who knows, maybe we might learn a wee bit of amphibious warfare in Taiwan in the near future. We never know, you know? I, think I love a, watching the Chinese a good chance drown. That. I mean, I mean. Mm. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, will we wrap up? Or is there anything else you want to bring up? Or is there anything else you want to um, talk about? And I know this was a bit of a podcast, but like, I know we kind of did meander over a lot of different stuff. And why didn't you guys just read the topics. thread? Re- no, because I've spent Cyberpunk and I wanted to talk about this sort of stuff. Also, while we're on topic, uh, my Elon Musk's Mars would be a direct carbon copy of... Did you ever play the game Dead Faction? I did, yeah. I did, yeah. Yeah, good yeah, pretty game. much that. Yeah, I, I, it's just, I, I just want Red Faction recreated, and that's it. That's exactly what... I um, just want Elon idea. Musk to make the cat girls Elon. Make the cat girls <laughs> Elon. You promised you know us, what? Elon! That's- and that's another thing I, we didn't even touch on um, cybernetics I think we're way more likely to be going further into gene splicing um, gene- yeah yep. gene splicing and engineering our genome than we are to embed technology into ourselves I think we're going to be doing a lot more biology than uh, mechanics that's that's where I would go for personally or at least that's what it feels like we're doing and again you know you could argue that look, one of the hot button top of the age um uh, how do you say this without getting into issues like there's a lot of uh there's a lot of questions about biology in this day and age and with the modern surgeries that exist today um and the blurring of the lines of what is and what isn't a thing um oh god i hate youtube i wish i could just say um do you get what i'm trying to say they are making progress in this sort of thing and like you know what what happens oh what happens if we if we put this type of a chemical into someone what happens if we change this what if we oh what what if we give them feed them this type of hormones what type of uh what type of results can we expect from that you know there's, there's gonna be a lot of data over the next 5 to 10 15 20 years that will be used for this sort of technology in the future mm. you know there was one even i saw the other day here i'll, I'll let me get it up for you, Garb. I'll throw it on screen here. Oh boy, um, more man made horrors beyond comprehension. Yeah, oh. here, look at this one. This, this, I'll land on this one. How does that sound? Leave you know, that what? One out, you sure. know what? I would definitely get my foreskin <laughs> back, not gonna lie. <laughs> well, the thing is, you don't know if it's gonna turn into like a horrible abomination. You don't know if it's gonna work. Hey, I could get a fucking vibration setting. I don't give a fuck, all right? Put a battery in it, <laughs> make it vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming God, the Spencer of orgasms. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Who's going to get the biocock? That's a question in the comments. That's a uh, question for today. Would you get the biocock? Now trending the cybercock. Really <laughs> <laughs> well, like you know, was that not that was a mission in Cyberpunk? Sure, we had to give that guy a lift because he got uh, a cock implant and uh, it didn't work. Or whatever, and it like blows up or something on him. You have to like you have to drive him to like a lipper dot. Oh so you no no so no! You- Those are little hand pump ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, anyway, so actually, anyway. fun fact, there's actually a release valve, and, and uh, so there's implants are for guys who have like horrible ED or they have like injuries where they can't get up, so they have like little air pumps. Oh, and and, and that's actually a blowout valve, and so, you, so so there's so many cock explosions. They actually put it in a blowout valve and a two like you know you know, you know, you know like, a, like a flat valve and like mattress and shit. They have one of those, and so if there's too much pressure, it'll release <laughs> in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
I got it. Bad made worse beyond my comprehension. <laughs> That's where I'm going to end the video. I don't know where. I don't know how to get any worse. I don't know how to get any worse than this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know here. Dick is the lasers. DLC worth Dick picking up? <laughs> like, is is the DLC worth picking up for Cyberpunk? Because I'm actually kind of interested in it. But like, like, let us know in the comments down below. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let us know what you think. Um, we'll see. Oh, and also tell us why we're at Tards. We've got no idea what we're talking about. That's always fun. Well, I had, entire, I had, I had an entire <laughs> thread on TG about that shit, homie. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I don't know why you, but you just pick fights. You know the problem is, I think you take the beat too easily with a lot of people you know people's like Gorb, you you in it's like no yay come be me in real well, the life <laughs> <laughs> the problem is i just don't i just don't know i the thing is i'm like a serial lurker online like i very rarely comment on anything because i've been banned that many times it's like you know what i'm just it's not worth it. it's not worth getting banned this 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 isn't worth it i'll just i'll just keep going i, like I can't i can't banned. think of it anymore come fight yeah <laughs> anyway hope you guys enjoy let us know what you think down below and we'll see you next time oh paper models do you like paper models easy to transport <laughs> and does get beauty have a thing for you paper models simply cut them out and play with them like your mom <laughs>